the civil liberties organization CHELO on Wednesday petitioned the international community, including 11 powerful countries, to immediately impose strict sanctions and visa bound on the governor of Nasarawa State, Engineer Abdullahi Sule, and Professor Ishaya Tanko for their roles in the March 18 gubernatorial elections in Nasarawa State. While speaking at a press conference in Abuja, the president of the CLO, Gombrad Igo Akerega, and executive director Ibuku Ibuchuku Ezeke warned that it was time to reign in anti democratic elements who are bent on sabotaging Nigerians' democracy with impunity. Akerega said the organization has formally sent petition to the government of the United States of America, the UK, Canada, Italy, France, Germany, China. Saudi Arabia, Australia, South Africa, and European Union to their embassies in Nigeria to request immediate imposition of sanction and visa ban on Nasarawa State Governor and Professor Ishaya Tanko, Vice Chancellor of the University of Jos, play to state for their roles in manipulating and subverting the governorship election result of the March 18, 2023, in Nasarawa State. The CIA also claimed that since the judgment was given by the Election Petition Tribunal, nullifying the reason of the engineer Abdullah Sule as governor of the state by the Independent National Electoral Commission and the declaration of Honorable David Umbuguadu of the People's Democratic Party as the winner of the election. The group alleged that the governor has a making statement capable of undermining the sanctity and independence of the, of the judiciary and capable of threatening the unity of the country. and visa ban of Governor Abdullah Sule and Professor Ishaya Tanko now CLO urges the United States, UK, and EU others. The Civil Liberties Organization, CLO, has petitioned the international community, including 11 powerful countries, to immediately impose strict sanctions and visa ban on Governor, Governor of Nasrawa State, Engineer Abdullah Isule and Professor Ishaya Tanko, for their roles in the March 18 gubernatorial uh, elections in Nasrawa State. As I speak to you in this press briefing that is signed by myself and the executive director, the CLO is warning that it is time to rein in all anti-democratic uh, anti elements who are bent on sabotaging Nigeria's uh, democracy with impunity. The CLO leaders said the organization has formally sent petitions to the government of the United States of America, the UK, Canada, Italy, France, Germany, China, Saudi Arabia, Australia, South Africa, and the European Union through their embassies in Nigeria to request immediate imposition of sanctions. The CLO is strongly alleging that the governor has been making statements capable of undermining the sanctity and independence of the judiciary and capable of threatening the unity of the country. The group noted that the gubernatorial election in the state afforded Nasarawa's people the opportunity to exercise their democratic right to elect leaders of their choice in accordance with the democratic tenets. But Governor Sulewu has challenged the judgment on appeal is resorting to self-help through his utterances instead of waiting for the court to decide his fate. The group said further scrutiny of an continuous voter registration portal, IREF, revealed that Governor Sule actually score in Lafia AGA was 51,199 against PDP 48,770, a difference of 2,424 votes. The judges at the tribu tribunal agree with the testimony of the key witness that the two wards in Lafia LGA Siroma and Gayam had the most incredible result. It was established during trial at the tribunal how Governor Sule managed to post 78,586 votes in Gayam and Siroma wards in Lafia local government area. When, according to INEC election re re records, both wards had only 34,000 accredited voters. For us at the CLO, this unacceptable electoral hack is a, is a direct affront on the core values of electoral democracy. The tribunal agreed with the testimony of the key witness that the two wards in Lafia local government area, that is Siroma and Gaya, had the most incredible results. 
Well, today we are demanding very clearly that appropriate sanctions should be meted to all individuals who play the role in subverting elections in the name of impunity by election riggers and manipulators must be put to an end if African nations will not be forced to be driven to seek alternative governance models. The CLO is however reaffirming its faith in democracy as the best form of government that should be encouraged and supported by all. Then the group reaffirmed its faith in democracy and the best form of government that should be encouraged and supported by all.